What if I told you making Roblox animations in Blender is easy? Crazy, right? First, you'll need Blender and Roblox Studio, obviously. Open the Google Drive link in the description, and as you can see, there's two folders here. So click on Blender Tutorial Files over here and select Download. Once you downloaded and extracted this, go to R6IK Rig, open up R6IK. Now you're in Blender, but before you do anything, go into Edit, Preferences. From here, go to Add-ons, select this drop-down arrow, select Install from Disk. Now locate the folder, Import and Blender add-ons and first get the lazy viewport install from disk and then do the RBX animation importer and install from disk. The animation importer is to import your animations from Blender into Roblox Studio and the lazy viewport is kind of a quality of life thing it just helps you rotate and move stuff around much easier. I'll make my interface a little bit larger so you guys can see everything. You should already be in pose mode if you're not and you're in object mode then you need to click on the rig and go into pose mode over here. Now this toolbar is very important you're mainly going to be using rotate which you press r4 move which you press g4 and select you can see this is select box so i have to left click and hold my mouse down and select tweak now once we've selected tweak we can now move th this stuff around right so we can move the torso around as you can see the whole rig moves with the torso down here you have what's called a dope sheet think of this as basically a timeline where you're going to be able to see all your keyframes so if i were to move this around as you can see it's going to make a new keyframe for the right upper arm as you can see the timeline ends on 40 frames if you want to extend the animation you want to make a longer animation then you go ahead and go over here to end and you can select the 120 for example and that's gonna be two seconds long i'm pretty sure basically 120 frames long now let's make a super quick animation so i can show you the graph editor all right this is a super simple animation and it looks pretty bad right it doesn't look that smooth so there's two steps to making an animation smoother the first step is using the graph editor now the graph editor might be a little complicated but i'll try to explain it to you in as simple terms as i can okay so on the left side you might have already noticed there's something here and that something is called the graph editor if you want to know how to go into the graph editor then you basically click on this or this icon and you go into graph editor or, or press shift f6 but your graph editor should be over here already now when i click on the right arm as you can see a bunch of stuff pops up and this might seem pretty crazy you know like you're, you might be like what the hell is going on here as you can see down here are some flat curves and here are some pretty steep curves this is the movement of the arm as you can see the arm is moving quite a lot in the x direction and that's why the x rotation curve is pretty steep right you see over here the y x Z. The arm is not moving in the Y axis whatsoever. So the Y curve is completely flat, right? There's no movement. So we don't care about that curve. The ones we care about are the ones with the movement. So this blue one, this blue one, and the red one. Now, before we go ahead and mess with this, I'm going to select all of these keyframes in here. I'm going to select V and select automatic. Now this applies easing to the animation, which is going to make it slightly smoother, but it's not completely smooth, right? I'm going to sidetrack a little from the graph editor, but we'll come back to this straight after, okay? The second step to making an animation smoother is adding in between movements, right? So let's say this is the full movement I'm trying to do. So I'm going to have some sort of an in between here. Let's say I'm going to rotate this arm a little bit more to, to the side here on the Y axis. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this one over here like this, maybe bring it up a little bit. Maybe I can even bring it a little outward. I can maybe move the leg a little bit and this is a little bit over exaggerated with the leg but as you can see it kind of looks already smoother when you take it when you take a look at the arms it definitely looks a little smoother we're gonna select these press v automatic and now this looks a lot more smoother right but if you want to take it a step forward then let's select the right arm for example again and now as you can see the y curve is not flat anymore because there's movement in the y axis right i really hope you can understand what i'm saying here so now select this keyframe for example and if I start moving this around, as you can see, the arm is moving around a little bit. And if I go ahead and play this, it already looks so much better, even though I did like the most random movement, right? You can mess with this as much as you want. And there really doesn't exist the right way to do this, right? There's just so many ways you can kind of make this movement better but one thing you're gonna see in a lot of animations is that they have this sort of sway right where the arm won't fully stop and it will kind of extend and go back as you can see over here it's very subtle and if i were to do it over here as well as you can see i'm gonna bring up the curve so the curve can come down again then you're gonna see that over here too it's a little bit over exaggerated so we can see it i mean i could just like go crazy on this and just completely over exaggerate it 
to the point where you're really gonna see that it does move up and then it goes down, right? There's that added sway. And you can do this with every single keyframe. Like I said, guys, there's no right way to do this. It's just a lot of experimenting. And the best part is that you can just like move around here and you can see what movement, what it does. Basically, you can see the changes in real time, <laughs> bro. You can basically see the changes in real time. I put up the graph editor here so you can see this a little better. So let's select this curve, for example, and you can see the panel here. If you don't see it, then press N and go into modifiers. You can add a bunch of modifiers like cycles that will basically loop the movement that you're doing, as you can see. Then you can also add noise so you can kind of randomize the action here. As you can see, it's kind of shaking. Most of the time you won't really use those but it's cool to know that you can do it you know what i mean important tip when you want to save your animation don't click on file and save instead click on save as because if you click save then it's going to overwrite the original file and that is something you may not want to do because you want to come back to this and just make another animation it's not gonna have the previous animation already in it so what i recommend doing is just save as and name it as whatever you want and once you're done and you want to export this go into roblox animations and select export animation now open up roblox studio go into the toolbox select plugins and type in blender animation and i might also link this in the description if you want to do that instead but over here blender animations ultimate edition you want to install this go into plugins open this now you also need a plugin to load a character for which you can use a load character light or you can use the character inserter from moon animator which is something that i'll use so i'll just insert my character here click on my character import animation from cl clipboard and paste whatever you copied and the animation is here i recommend trimming it as you can see mine is 101 frames long but it obviously doesn't need to be it doesn't matter as much but it's just good to trim it inside of blender now scroll down go into upload animation to roblox now title the animation you can put a description in if you want save it and this step is only if you have moon animator this is kind of good if you have moon animator because yeah it's, it's just good <laughs> so you close out from blender animations select your rig new rig animation file import roblox and select the animation that you just made and as you can see i have imported my animation into moon animator as you can see is just like way too long because i i didn't trim it so go ahead and trim it you know don't make it so long <laughs> i probably didn't go over everything so if you have any questions go ahead and comment them below or you can also join my discord server and there should be some people to help you out there or me if this helped you out subscribe and thanks for watching